Hello, this is Michael Pranikoff, the Global Director of Emerging Media with PR Newswire, and here I am with Tony Uphoff, the CEO of UBM Tech Web, and we're at UBM's offices in San Francisco today. Tony, uh, it's great to have you. Thanks, in Michael. We're actually talking about the panel discussion that we're trying to host at South by Southwest, which is vetting in the age of social media, who do you trust? Tony, why is this an important conversation to have? Yeah, you know, it, it, it's, it's the question of the day, Michael, and I'll tell you why. We've had a massive from to shift in the digital world from search to social as the predominant you know, center of gravity. It's, how we, it's the discoverability engine, if you will, of the internet today. As we've done that, that's been exciting and, and things like Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and other tools have really allowed us to discover content and engage with either brands or other people in ways that we, we couldn't have imagined you know, five, six years ago. Here's the problem, it's almost overwhelming. Who are these people? What, what, what's the validity of what they're talking about? In some cases, it's actually very difficult to even understand when someone passes something on, um, did they write it? Did they author it? Are they passing on a white paper? Are they passing on a link to a brand? So the, the connection there is very, very difficult. The other thing that's happened during this process is we have seen an avalanche of content. So if you think of the other from to shift is from advertising to content. So everyone's producing content today, be it white papers or blogs or tweets or posts, the same phenomenon's happening there. How do you vet the validity of this content? And most of it is, is disconnected from a broad conversation. And would you say in this time that the development of professional content, especially like for newsrooms, is actually declining because newsrooms all across the country and across the world are either declining in their workforce or declining in uh, just being able to actually stay in business? Well. The financial model, the newsonomics, if you will, of the newsroom is clearly under fire, and the internet is just starting to dramatically transform that. But also speed. You look at the revolutions that are happening around the world, and the speed with which Twitter, and Facebook, and other you know wiki posts, and other things that people can use, email, SMS texting, can beat traditional news gathering. And now what's happening is people are blurring the distinctions. You know, by the end of this evening, whenever you finally retire for the day, you might forget where you actually saw the news of the day. Right. And so you actually did a post on your blog, Up Off on Media, that is, don't trust this blog. Yeah, yeah. And it was written by a phenomenal guy. He's an executive with Yahoo. His name is Jeff Sweat. And, and, and he really has, I think, a really good take on this. And his, his core point, as you can imagine from the, the title of the blog, is that simply blogging right, is not enough, both as the reader, but more importantly, in the way he wrote it, was about the producer of this. You have to be pretty rigorous about the content, and you, and you really have to have a sense of perspective about the content you're producing. And if you read the post, what he really talks about, too, is the context with which you're producing it. But he's also noting the challenge is that in today's world, you don't know the authenticity of a blog. You know, the, right. the average search, the Google search, of the above the fold results, 50% of the page is user-driven content, which means think of any brand that conjures up in your mind right now. When you search that brand, the above the fold results are not gonna be produced by that brand. They'll be produced by someone else. So the authenticity of what people are saying about any particular topic or brand really needs to be rigorously examined. And between Google now with you know incorporating news into the, just the general search, we're seeing major shifts that are happening. And how much do people trust even the search engine for all of this content that's being uh, created? People have to do a better job of, yeah. you know, the people who created the content of vetting that content. Yeah. Um, but people also have to do their own vetting themselves of the content that they're even reading. Yeah, absolutely true. And I think that's really driving a lot of this shift from search to social. You know, I think if. Um, you know, I, I'm far less interested in searching the web than I am in what my friends, my colleagues, and people whose opinion and ideas I trust and are interested in are doing, saying, and talking about than I am in quote unquote searching the web. And I think that's a pretty common issue today. I think the other aspect about it is, regardless of the extraordinary algorithms that the search engines have, they're still churning up an awful lot of things that are irrelevant to what you're looking for whether it's that from a credibility point of view or just on topic, if you will, of what you're really interested in. Well, we could talk for hours on this conversation, yeah. and we hope that you will uh, join us at South by Southwest and first vote for our panel, Vetting in the Age of Social Media, Who Do You Trust?, with Tony Uphoff, myself, Amy Webb, Alicia Stewart from C CNN, and Codename Max.